Hello, hello, hello queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. And today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I created this look. Unfortunately, this tutorial won't be as in depth as all my other ones. This was a spare of the moment recording. She actually was not my face model, but I asked her if I could record this glam and she said yes. So we're jumping into this tutorial by patterning up her brows. As y'all can see, I've already filled them in and cleaned them up off camera. If you would like to see how I do my whole brow process, you can tune in to my other client tutorials after you finish watching this one. But once I powdered her brows, I also went ahead and applied my eyeshadow base off camera, which was my NARS concealer. So we're going to be jumping straight into the eyeshadow. For today's look, I went in with my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. As y'all can see, I'm starting off with this dark brown shade and I'm just applying it to the edge of her eyes using this blending brush. This is going to serve as one of my transitions. Now I'm going in with this reddish brown shade. It's also from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm blending it over the first shade that we used and once I have it all applied, I'm going to be alternating between the two shades just to make sure that they're blended well together. Now I'm just going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm using it to deepen up her crease. Last but not least, I'm going back in with that dark brown eyeshadow just to make sure that everything is well blended before we move on to the other side. For her lids, I'm going in with this pressed white gold eyeshadow from my Juvia's Place to her and 2 palette. This is a no cut crease look, so y'all already know it does not have to be neat. It just has to be blended, so make sure that you take your time when tapping on this eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the shade Taza from the Saharan palette and I'm using it to blend out the edge of her eyes. I'm going in with this pigment from J. La Rue and I'm going to be tapping this on top of her eyeshadow. You don't have to go in with any adhesives, you can just go directly on top of the eyeshadow. Now I'm just going in and I'm lining her eyes using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner. I'm going back in with that black eyeshadow and I'm using it to blend out the edge of her liner.
Moving on to the face, I'm going in with my Pond's Moisturizer and I'm going to use this to hydrate her skin. So as y'all can see, I'm just going in and I'm applying a generous amount onto the face and I'm going to blend it out using my damp Real Technique sponge. I know it may seem like I'm moving fast in this video and it's because I was okay my girl had a graduation to go to and I was determined to get her up out of this chair on time so if it looks like I'm speeding I am but I promise y'all I wasn't being rough on her face I was just being fast okay now I'm going in with my Smashbox photo finish primer and I'm going to use this to prime her face I mainly like to focus this product in the t-zone I'm going in with my Nika K Concealer in shade number 12 and I'm using this to color correct around her face before we go in with the foundation. Yeah, I may notice us talking a little bit more throughout these clips as well. This face model in particular is like a little sister to me and I love her so much. So we was just a kiki kiki in while I was doing her face, but the face still got did, okay? As you can see, I'm going in now with my Fit Me Foundation and it's in the shade Deep Golden. I'm highlighting her face using my Nika K Concealer in the shade 07. I'm gonna go in and blend that concealer out using the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation. I'm going to allow the concealer to sit underneath her eyes a little longer and move on to contour. To contour her face, I'm using my Juvia's Place foundation stick and I'll have the shade name in the description box down below. I'm going in with this flat brush from Real Techniques and I'm using it to blend out the concealer underneath her eyes. Yeah, I gave her one job. I told her to look up. Why did she look north, south, east, and west while I was blending out the concealer underneath her eyes? Like, do y'all see what I be going through? But we got it blended. Okay, girl, we got it We got it blended out. Once I got it blended all the way out, I went in with my Morphe Loose Powder. This is in the shade Banana Rich. And I'm just going to be setting all of the concealer in place.
I'm going in with these two Black Radiance Press Powders and I'm going to be using them to set all around her face. First, I'm going in with the shade Black Coffee and she wants to put her hand in the camera. Girl, put your hand down. We is recording. But I'm using this to set the contoured areas of her face. Now I'm going in with the shade Rich Mahogany and I'm going to use it to set the remaining areas of her face. Now I'm going in with some blush from my Julia's Place to her blush palette and I'm applying it to the apples of her cheeks. She's so goofy y'all, she make me tired. But after that, it's time to do the under eyes. So I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm using it to line the edge of her waterline. And then I'm gonna smoke out her lower lash line with some dark brown eyeshadow. Now that the under eyes are complete, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep away all of the powder on her face. Now that the powder has been pressed in, I'm going in with some setting spray. And y'all, look how dramatic she is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I'm going to fan the spray. And once it dries, we're going to go in with lashes. I went ahead and cut the lashes to fit her eyes off camera. So now I'm just gluing them onto her lash line. Now I'm going in with my Be Perfect highlighter and I'm using it to highlight her face. I decided to go a little light handed on the highlighter because as I said y'all, my girl was going to a graduation so I didn't want to have it beaming and the lights were already going to be hitting her off the stage. Last but not least, it's time to do the lips. So I'm outlining her lips using my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. I'm taking my Absolute New York Liquid Lipstick in the shade Terracotta and I'm applying it to the center of her lips and I'm going to have her press her lips together to help me blend it out. And then I'm going to go on top with this Pink Tone Lip Gloss. I'm going in with a lighter liquid lipstick and I'm adding it to the center of her lips to add a little bit more depth and I'm going to have her blend her lips out again and once I have her lips fully blended that'll be the finished look and we'll be getting into the grand reveal so I'm going to let y'all watch. Are you ready to see? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to eat every time. <laughs> Mm. 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 Mm.
Okay, queens, as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and like, comment, share, and subscribe. More content is on the way, but until then, bye guys, bye.